guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting doing two episodes three and four of Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. It has been <laughs> over 12 hours for me, but for you guys, it's literally been a week since I watched this show. And the funny thing was last night after I finished watching the first two episodes and um the millionaire detective i kept thinking i was like well i don't really have anything on friday um and i'm happy about that and i was like well i'm gonna really do anything for the most of the day i was like well fuck it why don't i just go ahead and watch the next two episodes also um so i was looking at the cast <laughs> three <laughs> count the three of my favorite B uh, male bas is in the show so i mean this just got worse in a good way. Like, the fact is, it's not only fucking Mamoru, and I, I cannot pronounce his name as the guy who plays fucking Bakugo, and then fucking Daisuke Ono, like, oh my god, why are you doing this to me? And I don't think we've met Daisuke Ono's character yet, so I think he's gonna come later on. But, like, ooh, I went from, like, zero to 60, like, when I found that out. I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, everything I freaking need right now. So, thank you. <laughs> like, oh, my God. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. Nozaki? Oh my, he looks like Yuki! <laughs> He's so cute! Oh my god, but why is he wearing a skirt? He like Momiji? He like to be cute in girls clothes? You trying to tell me something? Yes? No, maybe. <laughs> but he's adorable, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Cody. I didn't mean to call you. I'm sorry, puppy. I'm just jamming. Go lay down, baby. Good. <laughs> Violence versus friends. Okay. I'm guessing so. <laughs> but she is cute. Oh. The jury is real. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Makes so much sense. <laughs> This is literally if Oran High School Host Club was females and not even males. <laughs> I know, Kashi was really cool. I mean, Nozaki was straightforward, and I like that in a guy, but I mean, mm. Mm. Holy shit, are you okay? I'm hot for him. <laughs> that is the most intense president. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I thought the cat was supposed to be, like, signifying for? Um, when people do, like, uh, background art for animes and such, they're putting, like, an Easter egg or something in there that represents them and all the, <laughs> and all the animes that they do. But, but you just did, like, right there. Yusuke, really?
Oh my god. <laughs> Basically, you got your ass beat by the president. Not too slight. <laughs> oh. Oh. Eh, kinda. See, Kashima like seems like one of those types of characters that you love so much, but you can't take him seriously. Oh. Makes sense. Mm, that, or he can wear those types of shoes that makes him taller. They had to do it for freaking uh, Josh Hutcherson for the Hunger Games where they played PETA. Because PETA was supposed to be taller than Katniss. <laughs> Oh, God. Going right to the point. Oh my god. Smart though.
And they're just working on something together. Mm -hmm. Just think it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Is that a trick question? me cutting.
<laughs> All the room for so adorable. <laughs> it's all right though. I mean that's so obvious. You just the relationship and chemistry between the president and Kashima is so fucking obvious. Like, I mean, come on. But the fact is that Kashima was like, you know, who's cuter? <laughs> Don't stop hearing me. I mean, I was like, yeah, what is this really a trick question? Cause I mean, I feel like he's not going to say you, baby. <laughs> but like that, I am hot for president. He is so cute. Oh my god, like stop. Really, this was such a good episode. Like, oh my god! Like, <laughs> the president and me, Cody, fucking me, Cody, my baby, precious boy. I love him so freaking much. He's so freaking cute, like me. I can't. I mean, this is just like, mm. this is so good. It was so cute. I mean, the fact that. <laughs> And for then it's like, no, do it again. <laughs> oh my god. It's usually like that with a casting director. Be like, no, speak from that and dominate it. Bring it out. Be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Be like, how do you do something like that? And the next thing you know, you were just like heaving on the floor. You're just like, what the fuck just happened? But that was so cute. Oh my god. And I already love Kashima. She's like adorable, but I mean, like, still, you, you you tricked me. And you know what? That's okay. It happens. But I, honestly, I can see why like every girl in the show is like hot. For Yeah, I mean, you're really good at it. That is like when the man of your dreams comes down and you're just uh. You don't even need to like continue to know how freaking good of an actress she is. Like, oh my god. I can't. <laughs> this was everything. Like, holy crap. I mean, Jesus. But, okay, Hori Senpai, I mean, you know, even though they did a read-through of what <clears throat> Nozaki um, wrote, it was interesting. You got to see him, you know, to act and do something, and he's really, really good at his craft, and he knows his ish. But I get the fact that he wants um, <clears throat> Yashima to, like, to, you know, be ahead and be a star at the time that she can, but... It's just, you also need to shine as well. And whether you are a producer or a director or whatever, you're still shining. But whoever that male or main lead, female, whoever, I mean, they shine the most. They're usually the ones who get the most money in a, in a freaking movie or a TV show or something like that. But, yeah, this is a really good episode. Like, oh my god. I wasn't expecting to laugh. I mean, like, as much. Because, like, 
episode one and two made me freaking laugh. Like, after I was done recording, I was still laughing at some of this ish. I was just like, bruh, I can't. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. But he doesn't really know anything, though. Um. be a dating sim game. <laughs> Go with your gut. Just <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> times when men look like. Makes sense! <laughs> so you use the dating sim. That makes sense! <laughs> Man, that's the center. Baby. Damn, I kind of want to play a dating sim now. Oh! Isn't it funny that she looks like Sakura? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> That's how it starts! <laughs> Ah, welcome to the world of being a weeb.
<laughs> of course, because you know who she looks like, fucking Sakura. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, like you're already calling her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually true about that. Ha 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 ha! 
Oh my god! That was so sweet! <laughs> you know, it usually happens like that. You either draw something for them or you end up making fanfics. The best friend. Yeah. The best friend. Give me that yelling. <laughs> yelling. <laughs> See if the door's unlocked. Power of Yali. Sweet, sweet Yali. Why don't you guys ask Nozaki Kun? Stop, please. I love you so much. Oh, God, you're so fine. It's okay. You want some practice? Yeah. <laughs> oh, me got in. Uh, that inner vodka gun just came out and I love it so much.
Excuse me. I know. Read between them lines. <laughs> oh, me, buddy. You have to kind of figure that to a yes, because he's never been on a date, so, I mean, he's never been truly been on a damn mixer. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a speed date, basically. Of course I did. Kind of 
bigger caution would be going. <laughs> you know she's gonna steal all the girls from you guys, right? That's exactly what y'all get. All of course, this guy's is like, I mean, the girls are so fucking attracted to her. I mean, it's so fucking obvious. I, like, come on now. Typically in animes, there's always either that one guy or that one girl, usually both in an anime together, that, like, every character wants to get with. <clears throat> For example, Kaguya-sama and freaking Shirogane in season one of Kaguya-sama Love of His War. Since officially, as of tomorrow for me, but, you know, when you guys see this next week episode, but we'll already be out for season two, and I'm so fucking excited because it's gonna be so good. But, I mean, yeah. But, oh my god, me my baby, he's so fucking cute, oh my god. I mean, it would have been nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> the skills that he learned. <laughs> and Chiyo, I know that he could. <laughs> because that shit would have been fucking hilarious. Like, just seeing him use it on another girl, and then this girl looking like, where the hell did you learn this? But, okay, I liked the dating sim aspect. That was really good. I mean, mm, that was something I actually needed today. I, I just, ooh, that was just so fucking cute and adorable and precious. And then just knowing that they made a freaking manga <laughs> chapter <laughs> So who's coming? Oh! Uh-huh. Seriously? Yeah, he's so cute! I love him so fucking much! Oh my god, I can't believe me, He's so adorable, like, oh my god, like, Jesus Christ. This is now, I think, the second show that I've seen his voice actor in where he plays just a really soft... No, actually, no, this is my third. This is my third. My first was Mother Evan Made Summer, and that was, like, the best shit ever because I was, like... Because this is way, 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 way before I did anime reactions. And my friend literally gave me a show to watch. She was like, yeah, watch Made Summer. And I was like, okay, what the hell is this about? And I didn't even know who the voice actor was. But I immediately fell in love with this character. And then your girl started My Hero Academia. And I was like, damn, I'm in love with Bakugo. I want to know who voices Bakugo. So one random day, your girl decided to go search his, his name up. And then, you know... One thing led to another, and your girl was, like, up in her room at, like, 12 o'clock at night, freaking the fuck out. I was like, damn. And this guy played Rin, too, from <laughs> Like, oh, like, you know how when you just, like, instantly recognize a voice, and then you're like, 
sitting, you know, in your mind, you're just like, oh my god, who is that? Who is that? And then when you finally get it, you're just like, oh my god, yes, that's me right now. Like honestly, just oh, but me, Cody. Like oh my god. But I, I love how every single episode, Sakura just sends these like little hints for like Nozaki to try to get. <laughs> He's so adorable that he is just over here like, huh? Like, uh, mm. nah, I, I don't, I, mm, I don't understand that. But I feel like I'm like 50, 50 sure they're going to get together by the end of the series. I'm not 100%. I do want, um, Kashima and, uh, the president to get together because like I said, Cut that sexual tension with a goddamn knife. I mean, it's so freaking obvious. And you're just looking at them like, why don't they just finally get together? Exactly how, like, when I watched season one of Kaguya-sama last year, and I was like, oh my god, like, these two were perfect for each other. Just get the fuck together. And so hopefully when season two starts tomorrow, and when we get through the 12 episodes, that last episode, they finally, finally get together. And... Mm, it's gonna be so good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.